<laughs> Today we are poning the Dalai Lama. It's also to draw attention to the video that I'm poning. First off, Buddhists are one of the top four religions, but 5.84% of the population is Buddhist. If you combine atheists and non-religious, 14.09%. So, if you're going to conform to anything, conform to something that makes sense. So obviously, uh, science. Now let's go on. So you're you're the smallest. Uh, so it's it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, why didn't you do this earlier? And I'd like to bring that up right now. Actually, you're one of the oldest religions in the world. Why didn't you do this earlier? Why didn't you accept science earlier? Uh, some of your beliefs you've held on for this long and now you you finally come to the grasp that they're wrong. But it's still a faith, it's still a religion, and it's still bonk. And he said science is 100% in one part, then he obviously didn't understand science in the first place. And since he seemed to like Einstein, I would like to present a quote by Einstein. A man who is convinced of the truth of his religion is indeed never tolerant, and he is unable to be tolerant. At the very least, he is to feel pity for the adherent of another religion, but it usually does not stop there. The faithful adherent of a religion will first tr first of all try to convince those that believe in another religion, and usually he goes on to hatred if he is not successful. However, hatred leads to persecution when the might of the majority is behind it.